you guys, it is WiseBazito here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset the CM Storm Trigger mechanical keyboard. So, here we go. First of all, you want to head over to the link in the description. I'll have two linked here. I'll upload the file myself, and if you want to go to the official website, I'll leave that there as well for the official download link. So you want to head over to the link in the description, you just want to download the file and you want to click on it and then once you're here you just want to double click the application and you just want to press OK. So now this should fix your CM Storm Trigger mechanical keyboard. Now uh, this works for the CM Storm Trigger keyboard not the Trigger Z so just remember that and um, if your keyboard stops working like mine did at one point it was just a corrupt chip on the board as it had the wrong profile settings. Even if I plugged it into something else it wasn't working. This is the fix, so all you have to do is press the reset, you want to press OK, I'm not going to do that right now because mine's all fixed up. And once it's all done, it will delete all your macros and everything, well your keyboard wasn't working in any case, so don't expect your macros to be there, you're going to have to re-record them, and it will be all done in 10 seconds. So yeah, that's pretty much it. One more thing is that once your keyboard is reset, the lighting will go off, so you just have to click the CM Storm button and click F1 for to turn it back on and then just turn, change the settings on F4 for the mode with the CM Storm trigger key pressed or F2 to change the brightness. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you head over and click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn the bell notification on. I have a lot of tutorials coming out soon and reviews so make sure to keep up with that. Go check my website out ystech.ga. As you can see here, it's up and working. It looks wonderful to me. To be honest, I'm going to be posting my videos up on here to try and get the lost revenue off YouTube that I'm not making up for now. To so just build up the YouTube channel for now to act as a secondary source. I'm going to have some pre scripts and all of that stuff as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Now just before you get started, you just need to go ahead and click that subscribe button to make sure you hear all my reviews and tutorials that are coming out soon.